Okay, hey, what's up everybody? It's Dr. Jade Tita here, and today the question is, hey Jade, what is it about my female trouble spots? I mean, one of the things that we know from looking at males versus females is that women tend to store fat in particular areas versus how men store fat, and I'm gonna cover this for you. Those typical areas are the belly, the butt, and the thighs, okay? These are the areas that most women are sort of dealing with. So let's go through some of the chemistry behind this and also give you some clues about how you might be able to deal with this. Now, when most people think about body shape, right? You've been told about the apple shape, right? And you've been told about the pear shape. So, you know, there's the pear shape and there's sort of the apple shape. And most people have no other understanding other than these two shapes. But the actual shape that is most beneficial for the female, it's the healthiest body shape, and it is also the shape that is most attractive, is the hourglass shape. Is the hourglass shape. This is the one that makes women that beautiful shape. And this is why if you have a plus size model who might be a bigger woman, she still can have this beautiful physique because she's an hourglass shape. And this is why some models who are bigger versus some models who are very thin, the reason that they are models is because they have this shape. And that's what's kind of beautiful about this. You can be different sizes, but still be this hourglass shape. Now the truth is about this is what causes this hourglass shape? Well, it is a combination of the hormones estrogen and progesterone. In our fat tissue, men and women, there's two types of receptors, the alpha receptors and the beta receptors are the receptors that determine how fast someone will burn fat from a particular area. Think, when you think of this, think beta receptors for burn. In areas of the body where there's lots of beta receptors, fat loss can happen fast. In areas of the body where there's lots of alpha receptors, it happens a little more slowly. So where do you think the majority of alpha receptors, anti-burn receptors there are in women? That's right, the hips, the butt, and the thighs primarily. Where are they in men? Typically here in the love handle area is where all the alpha receptor receptors reside. So women have many more alpha receptors in the hips, butt, and thighs, and the breast, which is why they get this nice hourglass shape. Now estrogen, amplifies the alpha receptors to some degree, right? Very interesting thing about this. And also, estrogen and progesterone both impact another important hormone here, which is thyroid hormone, which also can impact alpha and beta receptors. In fact, the thyroid hormone seems to stimulate beta receptors and reduce alpha receptor activity. Another thing about women is they tend to have lower levels of thyroid hormone or more prevalence of hypothyroid compared to men. And so all of this is impacting here. Now, someone who's in apple shape tends to have estrogen and progesterone that have fallen off. This tends to be a predominant factor in menopause, which amplifies cortisol and insulin. And somebody who has more of this pear shape here is someone who has plenty of estrogen and progesterone, but maybe is a leaning a little bit more towards estrogen, so there's more fat or slower release of fat from the hips, butt, and thighs. And this is kind of what's going on here. So you might say, well, Jade, what is the fix for this? How do we get this hourglass shape as a woman? And it's actually a pretty nifty sort of response here. Well. When the women are menstruating, there are times when estrogen is dominating and the anti-alpha receptors will be more prevalent, and there's other times when estrogen is not dominating and those alpha receptors are less prevalent. So one of the things that you can do is you can cycle the diet. In other words, you can begin to train a little bit more and reduce calories during times when estrogen is low. When are those times? Those are gonna be the week before and during menses. Now here's the thing that I'll tell you. Now when most women hear this, they say, okay, that sounds great, but that's the worst time for me to be training hard 
and actually reducing calories. And I agree, I'm not telling you that this is easy for you. Actually, this is one of the more difficult things to do because you have to have extra sort of uh, hunger suppression and take care of the cravings and hunger that can come along. And one of the ways that you can do this very easily is really work hard on stress reducing techniques here really training hard and eating less, but also spending an awful lot of time with massage therapy and sleeping and naps and everything to reduce stress in the body and also amplify protein because it is one of the best things to cut down hunger and craving. So while this is hard, reducing stress and increasing protein during this time will be really nice. And so you do two weeks, the week before and the week during menses, you really try to exercise more and eat a little bit less. However, in the other two weeks, you go back to a normal diet. Now, not a diet that is excess calories and excess stress, but uh, a, a normal regime, isocaloric, meaning normal calorie. You don't want to go high. And so you'll have two weeks where you're sort of in this normal state and then two weeks during and before menses where you're in this reduced state. And what that does is help target these alpha receptors a little bit more. The other thing that cycling the diet does is it keeps thyroid hormone more active because after about 10 to 14 days on a diet, thyroid hormone activity will fall. However, if instead you go two weeks on and two weeks off, the fall in thyroid hormone may be less. And so we kill two birds with one stone here. We really get to amplify the beta receptors by keeping thyroid levels up. And we really get to suppress the alpha receptors by training and eating less during times when estrogen is not as dominant, dominant. And this is a really nice way to get that alpha sort of receptor control and really begin to work more on that hourglass shape. 